Okay, welcome everyone. Today we're going to create a mobile application for Android devices like the ones you see on Google Play Store. We will be using a Droid Studio as our IDE and Java as our programming language and also XML for layouts, but don't worry, it will all be simple so you don't need to know everything about those languages to get started. It is going to be a fairly simple application that covers the basics of Android development like layouts, activities, text views and buttons and at the end we'll be adding a simple notification. So let's get started. First thing we want to do is create our project. So open up Android Studio and click File, New Project and once you're on this screen choose Empty Activity. Activities are basically screens users can interact with and then click Next. Once you're on this screen you can choose the name of your application. I'll name it Simple Counting App. In here you choose your package name and your save location. You can put it anything you want. In here you choose the language. So you can, use, you can choose Kotlin or Java. We'll be using Java. And this is a really important step. Here you choose the latest version uh, your Android application can run on. So this is the API 15. If you choose that your application can run on 100% devices. If you choose the newest Android, you will only get it running on 40% of devices. So just choose API 15 or 16, whichever one you like. And once you've done that, just click Finish. And now your project, it takes a few minutes for Android to build your project. Okay, once your Android Studio project is loaded up, this is the screen you will be seeing. And now, before we jump into code, we want to edit our layout. So go to Activity Main XML and click this button so you can see the visual layout. And here you have a sample Hello World. And we'll be deleting that and adding our own text view, which will represent the counter. So once you're here, you can change the text to zero because you want your app to start counting from zero. Okay, and then we'll be needing three buttons, which one will be for plus one, the other one for plus five, and the other one for a resetting. So you're going to put it under here, and then another button under here, and then the third button under here. And of course, we want to change the text from the button to plus one, and the other one to plus five. And now the buttons still don't do anything. We'll add the functionality later, but when you are creating an application, it is important to visualize what you want to do first, and then text, and uh, we'll put three sec. So this is how our application will look like. Of course, we will do some changes. And now we want to change the text size, text color, background color. So you can go to this. This is the code. So once you drag and drop those elements, they automatically add them here. So this is our text view. You can see the text is zero, plus one, plus five, and reset. So these are our buttons. And we're going to be changing the color here. So in the text view, type Android text color equals to at color color primary dark. You can put any color you want, so we'll be using this one, as you can see here. And we'll be changing the text size, so type Android text size equal to 35 SP. And now you can come here and see how it looks like. So as you can see, we increased it and changed the color. 
and we're going to do the same thing for our buttons. So the first button, plus one button, we will be using the Android text color equal to question mark ADTR action mode split background. So this is the color we'll be using and for our other two buttons we'll be using the same color so you can copy this and paste under the plus five and reset and now of course you want to change the text size and our next two buttons will be 24 so we can copy this paste it under here and just change it to 24 sp lowercase okay and we can copy this and put it here and now you can see what we have when you open this view you can also open the code and preview so we open this and this is our basic layout so this is the number that will change when we push these buttons this is the reset button which will change the text here to zero and now what we want to do is we want to make these buttons larger so we'll put the width so you can see that width to match parent okay. match parent and this one too so layout width match parent and now we will be adding some margins because we don't we don't want them to be so big so you click on your layout and you go to just a second we need to find margins okay we can add them in the code so over here just under this line add android margin and put it equal we'll put it equal to i don't know 40 dp and as you can see it pushes our everything nothing can be out of this blue container but we push this button and we'll just put it back in place okay and now we have our layout set up and we can now write the code to actually do something when you push this button and when you push this and let's say now you run your app and you want to preview this but it will not go as you planned because we haven't added constraint uh, layouts that that tie the elements together so when you click on an element you can see it has some weird lines attached to different places and we need to do that for every element so we're going to drag and drop this to this the second element to the bottom and it essentially means we're connecting them so it we keep them in place so we're going to put this up here we're going to put this up here and we're going to put this up here lower the zero a bit mm, how it, it looks good like this so we're going to add these two buttons together this will be a little above them and then the reset button up here and let's just okay let's leave it like this and now when you added horizontal horizontal and vertical constraints everything will be tied up together and everything will be in place and now we can move to the code section and now we're finally in our java code i already prepared some code in here for us and we'll go over that and explain it line by line so the first thing we want to do is create our field variables so this one will represent the button this one will will represent the text on the screen this is uh, the counter that will be increasing every time we push the button and then we're going to display it as 
a counter. This is our plus five button and this is our reset button. So how you create the button in Android, you just put the button and you import the button. Text view, same thing. The next thing is this method that gets created in every Android project. So it's a method which is called when you run your app. So every time you run your app, this code executes. And as you can see, we have some errors here and we're going to fix them right now. So the first error is in, in the creation of our first button. So how, how do you link this, this button to this button, which we created here? You need to know its ID. So this is the ID of the button and you take it from there by applying this method. So find view by ID r.id and then you put the id so id of our first button is button you usually want to name them something more descriptive but this will do just fine for this project next is the counter so you do the same thing our counter is this text view so we find our text view and we go back here and say find view by id r.id dot text view and now we linked our button from Java to our XML button on the layout. And we set, uh, set text to current count and current count is zero. So we set this text to zero and we convert it to a string with these. Next is creating our plus five button. So you do the same thing, find view by ID and the ID. This is our second button, so it's button two. And our reset button is button three. And now we have our app, but it still doesn't do anything because we haven't linked our buttons to do anything. And we do this process in here. So basically, what you want to do is link your buttons to on-click listeners. And this is how you do it. So after you link your button to XML, you need to do button name dot set on click listener. And then inside these parentheses, you say, okay, create me a new on click listener. And every time it's clicked, do this method. So what do we do when we click the plus one button? We increase the current count by one and set the text equal to our current count. Okay, what do we do when we press the plus five button? So we create a new on click listener and what does it do? It increments it by five and set the text equal to current count. And what should our reset button do? Well, it should set the current count to zero and it should set the counter text to zero. And that's pretty much it. Now we have our working app. And the only thing we need to do is the notification. So under here, yeah, under here, every time you run the app, you want to create the notification. The way you do that is by adding this line. So it's called a toast notification. It's a short notification that just pops up. And these are the parameters it takes. So this refers to the current object text you can put anything you like and then length there's length short and length long and once you create a toast object you want to show it and that's it our app is ready to be tested let's rerun the app so we can see the notification so click that and let's wait for it to reload and we should see the notification and there we go, there was our notification and this is our application that works. So you can push this button and this text changes. You can add five, you can reset, you can add as many like. It's a simple app, but it's good to know basic concepts of Android app development. Congratulations, you have just created your first Android application and that's pretty cool. If you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comments and I'll be glad to respond. See you in the next video.